Listen up, because we're going to show you how to become a better investor. This is the Billion Dollar Startup Series. Your host, The Angel King. Hi Ross, so today let's talk about Benchling. What is it about the founding team of Benchling that you like? What I love about this founding team and all the companies that we invest in at Angel Kings, we look for this in the founding team. We look for not just scientists or coders, um, but we look for people that can explain products and science, scientific products in particular, which are harder to explain right. in an easy way. Uh -huh. And so that, that's what I saw in Benchling. Um, and when they were building out a cloud-based platform for DNA collaboration, uh -huh. that's not the easiest thing to, yeah. to explain to a larger audience. So. so have you used their product before? Yes. Um, I've used the product, I've used every product, even in our bi biotechnological or biotechnology list. Um, they're a product that is a simple interface for the public. It's actually free for the public, and they offer a subscription for scientists and, and labs to collaborate on. And what it is is a way to upload genomics, uh, genomics or DNA uh, analysis onto one platform and allow scientists around the world uh, a way to collaborate in real time. And so do you think they'll be around 20 years from now with what their cloud service that they provide? I think this is a platform, Benchling is a platform that will be around 20 years from now. They've got the science behind them. They've got the ability to explain it to a large audience. This is a, an area in which pharm pharmacies and, and, and pharmaceutical companies are driving to be part of. Um, and so do you think how have they grow the community that they need to have around their product to build their startup? How have they built that need for Benchling? So the big thing with Benchling is how, when you are courting scientists and okay. they're deep, they're you know heavy into the research, they're, they're passionate, people. passionate people who are oftentimes busy, right? Yes. They are not the easiest to get a hold of. Right. Um, but in this case, you've got, uh, when they were reaching out to scientists and, and, and labs, I, they showed them through beta studies or beta tests how Benchling could make their, their scientific research easier, more affordable, simpler, right? right. And that's the goal in, in breakthrough science and breakthrough technology is creating science but making it affordable and showing how to traditionally, you know, quote unquote, boring spaces such as, you know, uh, chemistry or, uh, or, you know, bioscience, right? How to make that more exciting. And they've done appealing that. More appealing to the masses. Right. And so are they the first movers in this space or has there been anyone who's tried to do what they do? So in our rankings, Melissa, on uh, for Angel Kings, we rank the top uh, biotechnology companies, or startups, mm -hmm. and we've also ranked another company called Two Genomics, right. um, and they're they're two different companies, right? And and Reed Robinson at Two Genomics and and the Benchling team are two different uh, sides of the equation, but I think there's plenty of room for both. Right. Uh, your question is whether it's been done before. It's been done before. Uh, scientific analysis, but it's never been done in an affordable platform in, a, in the cloud. Um, and technology is, pharmaceutical companies are striving more and more to be part of the cloud and being able to get all, you know, to be the thought leaders in the space. Right. And so what is the exit strategy for them then? Do you think they're going to be acquired by another larger pharmaceutical company or do you think they're going to go IPO? So, there are a handful on our rankings that I could see being large private acquisitions. Right. When we rank them, this billion dollar startup series, we look for companies that are going to be, or might be now, or are going to be billion dollar companies. And in order to get that, uh, you more than likely need to IPO. I think in Benchling's case, however, I could see a large acquisition of a lot of stock as you know, pharma, pharmaceutical company valuations in the public market are quite high. They trade, uh, you know, a high, high forward uh, multiple uh, than, than is typical of retail companies or mobile companies. So I could still see them IPOing in theory, but I, more likely than not, they're going to be a large private acquisition. Okay. Thank you, Ross, for talking to us about Benchley. If you've got more questions, visit angelkings.com.